me and my pregnancy was all fairly normal, uh, first time mum. When Leia was born, she came early, she was a month early. Originally she was found to be deaf and that later that she was found to have white matter damage and then the diagnosis came sometime after at Great Ormond Street. Um, and it was crushing. That was probably the worst day of my life. The neurology consultant said to us, I'm very worried from what I can see. And he wouldn't expect her to live more than a few months. <laughs> just wanted to do every, I just couldn't believe it. I just felt, just felt like I'd failed her, you know? Like I couldn't protect her. The diagnosis was that she has a rare form of mitochondrial disease. She does have severe disabilities. She can't walk, she can't talk. However, she definitely has a personality. The daily effects of this condition mean that we have to give her medication through a peg, that's a tube that goes directly into her stomach. Her feed goes in there as well. There's physio that we try to do every day if we can. We try to get her out for a walk. She's three now, and she's by far the bravest, strongest person I know. She's been through more in three years than most adults have gone through in a lifetime. It was Leia's kidney that was the most profound problem. She needed a kidney transplant. It was that or going on to dialysis. And then we had to find a, a donor. There was only one choice from my position. From the start, I wanted it to be me. Tom was at Guy's Hospital and Leia was at Great Ormond Street. Uh, Tom went into theatre first and then Leia about two hours later. We were worried, of course, that Leia would be all right and that she wouldn't reject the kidney, but that the kidney was functioning within two hours of the transplant. Over the years, Camp Sim have just been, yeah, they have been a lifeline, <laughs> like they've been amazing. Straight away, we knew they were gonna be such a huge help to us. That Jewish ethos is really obvious in what Camp Sim does. It's very much about looking after each other and making sure that you're really well supported by the entire Camp Sim community. Mandy is our family liaison officer, and she's been there with us from very early on. She is, not just our family liaison officer, she's a really close friend now as well. She makes sure we're being looked after. She constantly, you know, checks in on us, sends me texts, checks everything's okay. She does the things that I don't have time to in terms of my own self-care, and that's really important. Mandy helped Katie to continuing with art therapy, which is something that really helps Katie. That for me was really therapeutic. It was sort of the only time where I was really focused on something. Obviously when we knew how sick Leia was, there was kind of a like, do we want to have more kids? We still are aware that it's unlikely that Leia is gonna grow up to be an adult. And we wanted to make sure that whatever sibling or siblings Leia had, that they had a memory of her in real life. You know, she wasn't just a picture. She wasn't just someone we talked about. She was a living, breathing part of their life. Some of the outings we've been on with Cam Simpa have been a real ray of sunshine, especially in the last couple of years. Lockdown was particularly tough for us because we were shielding for most of the year. So to have something to look forward to like that is a big deal. We spend a lot of time in hospital, a lot of time with Leia undergoing procedures. Sometimes you lose the things in between those because you're just waiting for the next hospital visit, the next appointment, the next procedure. But Camp Simcha give you these little things in between that just, it's just that light relief and that escape as well. One of the big things Camp Simcha have helped us with is transport to and from hospital. They've provided countless numbers of meals for us. We can't just hire any babysitter to look after Leia. She needs very specific care. Neither of our parents live in London. We need a professional, especially at short notice. And Camp Simha have provided special people on a number of occasions who can come in and 
look after Leo. One of the most important things Cam Simple has done is to pay for some therapy for me. If I can look after myself, then I can look after my child better. Well, Cam Simcha do things that other charities often just wouldn't think of a lot of the time. Practical things such as benefit advice is just invaluable. I've decided to give up work to look after Leia because there's just not enough time for both Katie and I to work even part-time and to be able to look after Leia at the same time. When you have an unwell child, the costs are just enormous. A lot of the help that we receive from Camp Simcha we just simply couldn't afford by ourselves. If I were to sum up the difference that Camp Simca makes to the family, I would say that they know someone is there for them. If we didn't have Camp Simca in our life, I think we would feel a little bit like we were missing a limb <laughs> at this point. To Camp Simca, thank you for everything that you do. You've made our lives much easier in a really challenging couple of years. It's often through the most difficult experiences that you meet the most amazing people and they're just the most amazing people and the most amazing charity and we're so grateful for them every day. It's really true. It really is. You guys are so amazing. How long will I give to you as long as I live through you? Oh,